Welcome to Deep Thought. Look at a culture organically. Now, I talk about culture a lot, and that's basically what, well, what a culture is, is practices, norms, whatever, to cultivate behavior in, in people, right? To cultivate behavior, you know, to get them to move in a certain way. Like if you have a, a culture that's dominated by a particular religion, if you notice, it's it has the do's and don'ts. Like people should do this, people maybe should get married, people should eat this type of food, depending on the culture, right? Or, you know, it could also be, um, you know, the culture of the social class, right? You know? And it's overall, and it, you know, it could be myriad cultures. Like if you look at culture on in the U.S., it's actually an amalgamation of different religions, different social uh, classes and everything. You know, a lot of factors go into it. And usually, I would say the overall culture, despite the uh, myriad number of subcultures, is more about just enough so people can get along. <laughs> Seriously, it's like, I'd say the general culture in the U.S. is one of purported freedom, right? And, you know, you have other cultures like that, but yet you might have some other cultures that are more, um, you know, um, controlling of people, but that's still a culture. But regardless of the culture, regardless whether it's a mainstream majority macro culture or a micro culture or even a culture within the room, right? A key thing to look at is how you look at it. See, you got to look at it organically. What do I mean organically? Look at it through the people itself. Like any place, look at it through the people itself. Indeed, and this it is, it, I could probably explain it on even a deeper level. Ultimately, what people do is based on their inherent temperaments, their biologies, right? If you want to take it to an even deeper level, right? You know, say, let me let me throw something out. Say you have a family, right? I'm, I'm going to get a little metaphysic here, right? Say you have a family or a group of people, a clan, and the clan is really in a very extended family, right? But within that family, they're, because of their inherent biology, nervous system, and all of that, they have an enhanced ability to sense stuff uh, psychically. And follow what I'm saying. They have an enhanced ability to sense what's spirit, all of that, right? You know? The type of culture that they would develop would be one that affirms that. You know, the type of religion that they would develop would affirm that. You know, the type of foods and everything would affirm that, right? So it comes from that. Or let me use another example more for those who lean into the metaphysics, right? Say you have a, a clan, a group of people who, on a just a pure biological basis, very physically attractive, right? Very physically attractive. And when I say that, it's like, uh, you know, they don't, you know, their form is very pleasing to a great number of people, right? In general, in general, right? You know, genetically and stuff. The culture that they were ultimately developed would affirm that, you know, doing the things to maintain it. Like, oh, in fact, here's a better understanding. Think you have a culture of folks who, I don't know, bodybuild. They muscular, tight bodies and everything, right? Look at it like that. They will have a culture that affirms working out, eating right, everything. It will come from that, right? See, all culture ultimately come, comes from the biology. Now, I know some people, they are still try. you know, people try to, uh, they'll forget why, they're doing a certain thing or eating certain foods, which could have came from they found that these foods, you know, change behavior or something, right? But it still it still comes down to it. And then when you look at the culture, 
look at the people. Look at how they behave. You know, what, what's their inner drive? You know, what, what is their inner drive? What are the things that they're trying to accomplish? What is it within them? Like, uh, let me use the family because that's the best example because people probably seen it, right? Say you have, uh, once again, you have a family, but maybe because of certain, um, I don't know, combination of where they at, what they eat, and everything, they developed a, a taste for um, intellectual curiosity, you know, because you, you can see that. Anybody who's had more than two kids, at least two kids, can see they'll come out a certain way, right? And then, you know, because of that, they'll want to mate with someone, according to the DNA, that's similar to them. And boom, you got this. So, you you know, you got that. So they create, you know, maybe, you know, being more intellectual, more stoic, whatever, that creates the culture. See, that's the thing. It creates it and then the rules and everything to cultivate that behavior. But then let's go back. Hey, shoot. So here's the thing. If you say, okay, I'm going to look at it organic. Don't look at the rules. Don't look at the rules. Don't look at that or what it is. Try to say, all right, what's the temperament of that person? What's the nature of this group? Like if you're looking at a group or you're looking overall, what's the nature? What's everything, right? Then I'm going to tell you what, if you learn how to see that, if you learn how to determine that, then a lot of other stuff starts making sense. A lot of the behavior, uh, the social norms start making sense. It was like, oh, this is why. This is why. Like, you do have some ethnic groups, some ethnic groups. And I've talked about ethnogenesis before. That's the process by which a group uh, becomes to be recognized as a separate ethnic group. But that's an organic process. Once again, it starts with the clan, right? The clan is the extended family, right? That's the extended family. It grows and grows. They bring others in. All of a sudden, you got a group. But then there's a... There's an organic base to it. It's like, why do they do that? What's what's in their DNA? You know, why is it, you know, maybe why are they built a certain way? Why they eat certain foods and everything? And indeed, you can feed, if you look at any ethnic group, you can, there are some organic differences. You know, it might be very minute, but you can actually see the differences. But that's organic. But then if you understand that organic thing, then you can understand why this particular group maybe I give you a recent example why they voted a certain way. You know, what issues were important to them? What's a concern, right? I give a great example now. There's a very strong political issue. Abortion. Abortion. There's a lot of moves towards, uh, you know, trying to limit abortion, anti-abortion. But what is that coming from? That's an organic thing. Because if you look at the groups, particularly in the United States, that are fighting to limit it or even, uh, you know, to limit it or really ultimately ignore it, make it illegal and everything, what's happening with the groups? They're not reproducing the same way. They are not reproducing the same way. They having trouble even having children. So then it becomes very important. Indeed, that was a, a dynamic of that uh, book and uh, subsequent movie and then miniseries now that's big, The Handmaid's Tale. Everything stemmed from uh, people not being able to have kids. So you created a whole culture, a whole reaction to a biological event. I want you all to think about that. Think about it. Now, there's some stuff I threw, I didn't say I threw out there, but, you know, this channel is to make you think. Like, you look at anything, how people behave, what they do and everything, look at it organically. Try to break, get through all the noise of culture, um, you know, religion, class, everything. Try to just look at their nature. And that says a whole lot. So anyway, I want you all to think about it. And, you know, that's an interesting conversation because we can go even deeper. I could probably put out a book on it. It'd be controversial, but it would be interesting. So, anyway, that's all I have for now. 
As always, think on this. Peace and blessings.